Ridgecrest, California is under a state of emergency after the strongest earthquake in 20 years rattled the state here yesterday. The 6.4 magnitude quake caused widespread damage and could be felt as far away as Las Vegas. So far, more than 150 aftershocks have been felt. Our own Susan Campbell and Steve Nielsen are vacationing in California and felt the tremors. Iowa to Sue supporter Tori Goshi spoke with them and has their story new at 6. Residents and visitors of Southern California will remember this 4th of July as an unsettled one. Our colleagues Susan Campbell and Steve Nielsen were enjoying breakfast in Newport Beach, California when they felt it. Just kind of started feeling a little shaking. It was kind of more like rolling shake. According to Steve, the quake originated nearly 165 miles to the north of them. It felt like you were on a boat for a little bit. Like it just it didn't seem right. Something was off. As for Susan, this was her first earthquake experience. I was a little nervous because I didn't know if another one was coming. You know, so I wanted to I was kind of trying to gauge everybody else in the family. Like, are we supposed to do something else? The pair told me life went back to normal soon after the shaking stopped. Steve was raised in Southern California, explains how so. My sister was actually in a restaurant uh, going to pick up some breakfast when it happened. And I love Californians because they're so used to the, like, that earthquake feel that she said everyone was in line and everyone kind of stopped for a second and went, huh, and then immediately went back to what they were doing. Many closer to the epicenter encountered stronger shaking from swaying chandeliers to some even falling from the ceiling. Because I was sitting right here and I, I felt like someone pushed the back of my chair and you could see the window kind of bend a little bit with uh, the ground and that was like, oh, yep, this is an earthquake. To top it all off, their son slept through the entire ordeal. Susan says outside of a few pictures crooked on the wall, they're doing just great. In the control room, I'm Tori Goshi, Eyewitness News.